Richie Benno. More than a commentator. Richie Benno was not just the doyen of cricket commentators. He was one of Australia's greatest ever captains and one of the best all-round cricketers the country has ever produced. Richie Benno is adored by the Australian public and cricket fans from all around the world. Richie's popularity was such that he is widely regarded as one of Australia's most beloved sporting personalities, alongside the GOAT, Sir Donald Bradman. Richie Benno was born in Penrith, in Sydney's western suburbs on October 6, 1930. Richie went on to captain first grade for Cumberland in the Sydney grade competition and debuted at the age of 16. Richie Benno made his first class debut for New South Wales against Queensland at the Sydney Cricket Ground on 31 December 1948. Richie went on to make his test debut for Australia on January 25, 1952 against the West Indies in the fifth test at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Benno was just 21 years of age. Richie Benno went on to captain Australia in test matches on 28 occasions. Never losing a test series, Benno was a shrewd and innovative captain. Richie's record as captain of Australia was 12 wins, 11 draws, 4 losses and 1 tied test. Richie Benno was an inspirational captain and a true leader of men. Richie Benno was a strong advocate of West Indies cricket and had a lasting relationship with the West Indies captain and cricketing legend, Sir Frank Worrell. The 1960-61 tour of Australia was the West Indies' most successful overseas tour to that date in terms of popularity, culminating in what would be cricket's first ever tied test match, which was played at the Gabba, Brisbane, in the first test of the series. Richie was named the Wiston Cricketer of the Year in 1962. He was the first international test player to amass 2,000 runs and 200 wickets. Benno retired with the most test wickets for Australia, with 248. Richie averaged 27.03 with the ball at an economy rate of 2.1 runs per over and a strike rate of 77. Benno took five wickets in an inning 16 times, and 10 wickets in a match on one occasion. Richie Benno's best bowling was 7 for 72 versus India at Chennai on the 19th of October 1956. With the bat, Benno scored 2,201 runs at an average of 24.45, hitting three centuries and nine half centuries. Richie's highest test score was 122 versus South Africa at the Wanderers Stadium, Johannesburg in December of 1957. Benno took 65 catches during his test career. Richie Benno's television commentary career began in England in 1963. Richie began his foray into journalism at Associated Newspapers as early as 1950. Benno was resolutely serious about a career in the media, taking part in a three-week BBC course in media training at the end of the 1956 Ashes tour to England. Richie Benno was a lead advisor and consultant to Channel 9 owner, Kerry Packer, throughout the formation of World Series cricket. Richie Benno's popularity was enhanced even further during the late 1980s to the mid-2000s with the highly successful releases of the 12th Man comedy albums. For over five decades, Richie Benno appeared on television and radio for Channel 9 in Australia and the BBC and Channel 4 in Britain. Richie Benno is quite probably the most famous and highly respected cricket commentator the world has known. His distinctive style has been parodied in lounge rooms all around the world. Throughout his illustrious broadcasting career, Richie was joined by the who's who of the cricketing commentary world.
Richie Benno, retired from the commentary box in 2013. The last time the cricketing public heard Richie was a tribute he delivered to the late Philip Hughes in December 2014. Perhaps Richie's greatest partnership came not on the cricketing field, but with wife of 47 years, Daphne. Married in July of 1967, Richie and Daphne were married until Richie's passing in April of 2015. Richie's last appearances on Australian television were in early 2015. Benno was the face of Australia's lamb campaign. Richie Benno sadly passed away on the 15th of April, 2015. Richie was 84 years of age. Richie Benno left a lasting legacy, not only in the cricketing world. Australian cricketing royalty, captain of the nation, leader and a gentleman. Richie Benno was more than a commentator.